गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास आई एम योर एजुकेटर हरे कृष्ण भागवत एंड टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू द सेम टॉपिक रिप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ चैप्टर वन नाउ इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एसेशोल मोड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन the correct characteristics of the asexual mode of reproduction and the modes of asexual reproduction in plants which includes the fission and fragmentation we will discuss in this chapter so let's begin the topic through the previous topic we were quite aware with the asexual mode of reproduction but here let's revise it it is the mode of reproduction in which only one parent or individual can able to reproduce a large number of progenies and it is most common among the unicellular organism especially those belongs to kingdom monera and protista as you know and it is also seen among some other very simple organization organized organisms like sponges they also show a sexual mode of reproduction now uh we are going to discuss about the characteristics of asexual reproduction in the previous part we had came across with these in detail so in this part we will just memorize it so it is the uniparental mode of reproduction we know that here only one parent is required or can able to produce a large number of individuals and here the progenies are similar to their parents hence they are often called called as the clones are the remits there is no variation as you know that the parents and progenera are similar to their parents there is no gamete formation takes place and there is no fertilization as these things are not takes place in this mode of reproduction so it is a fast process of multiplication and it always takes place in favorable condition now let's discuss about the modes of asexual reproduction in plants we will discuss about these in three parts in this part we will discuss about fission and fragmentation in the next part we will discuss about sporulation and vegetative propagation and at the last one we will discuss about micro propagation or tissue culture and then we will discuss about the modes of asexual reproduction in animals also so this is going to be a very elaborated and very simple explanation of these things and you will feel that the language that i am using is very lucid so that you can able to understand each and every topic very easily now the next is the fission as you know fission is the most simple and most common mode of asexual reproduction in which under favorable condition and availability of food the parental cell divides into two or more equal parts we know that there it needs favorable condition and another that is availability of food if enormous amount of food would be there then the process of fission will be get very fast now on the basis of the number of the individual they produces it is of three main types as you know binary fission multiple fission and plasmotomy let's discuss them separately now the number one is the binary fission as you know binary means two 
it means it is the division of parental cell into two equal daughter cells means the cells divides into two equal daughter cells the example as you know as in case of amoeba you see that the body divides into two equal half now depending upon the planes through which the cell divides it into into two it is of four types that is transverse binary fusion as in case of paramecium longitudinal binary fusion as in case of euglena oblique binary fusion as in case of cryptinium and irregular binary fusion in amoeba now let's come to multiple fusion multiple means many as you know it is in which the parental cell divides into many equal halves it is mostly seen among parasitic protozoans like plasmodium and here in this case the organism under unfavorable condition forms a encapsulated structure in which the cell divides and redivides to form large number of progenies in the capsule under favorable condition when this capsule bursts this releases the daughter cell this encapsulation takes place inside those organism when unfavorable condition appears and when favorable condition appears the cell bursts to release large number of daughter cells to infect new host cells now next is the plasmotomy plasmotomy is a not very common method but it is seen in some of the protozoans like opilna in this method the nucleus of the parental cell divides and redivides to form a multinucleated synkaryotic structure synkaryotic structure means syn means joint head and karyon means nucleus means the structure in which many nucleus are there it is like pumpkin suppose the whole ground of the pumpkin is the cytoplasm and uh, the seeds are suppose the nucleus and this structure is called synkaryotic structure which further under favorable condition forms the membrane along with the cytoplasm and gets separated now when the favorable condition comes these uh, nucleus is get bounded by a cell membrane with some amount of cytoplasm within it and then then they separates and behaves as a new individual as in case of opilna now the next is the fragmentation the second part is fragmentation fragmentation is what in this method under mechanical stress by any how means when the body of the organism divides into two or more parts then each parts behaves as a new individual means when suppose the body by me- any mechanical means suppose any animal suppose a uh, foot falls onto a plant like a spirogyra for example over here is a spirogyra is a filamentous algae when the body of this algae is get divided into two or more parts then each part behaves as a new individual now come to the checkpoints here is the three questions that define clones explain the term plasmotomy and differentiate between binary fusion and multiple full fusion now thank you for tonight and uh, thanks for listening it carefully by the next class uh, we will discuss about the next topic related with the modes of asexual reproduction in plants till then thanks for listening